Inside these walls is a group of women whom many fear, wives of Boko Haram terrorists. But now they're trying to dissociate themselves from the radical Islamist sect and move on with their lives. Here, they're learning about how to save money and how to start a business cooperative. Aisha Ali's husband, a Boko Haram member, was killed by Nigerian security forces. Her life has not been easy since then, but she hopes she can master weaving. This training that I am receiving will help me and my children, and if possible, help me take them to school and end my suffering. Like Aisha, many of these women do not know the extent of their husband's crimes and involvement with Boko Haram. Most are now widows and are left to fend for themselves, since their neighbors are often too afraid to even interact with them. People are afraid. Some people, because of who they think my husband was, they won't even like to help me. To help the women, the Future Prowess Foundation not only teaches business skills, it also runs a school for some of their children. First, at the beginning of any session, before any enrollment, we try to organize a trauma session for the new ones that will be enrolled, plus their mothers. The school operates on trust and confidentiality, so teachers do not disclose information about which students are the children of Boko Haram members. Back at the training center, widows of Boko Haram members work alongside widows of men who were killed by Boko Haram. But getting the women to sit together was a challenge. All were required to participate in a psychosocial support program to talk about the violence they experienced. So that they can mingle with each other. This is what happened, this is how it happened, and this is how you guys are to play with each other. This one is not the one that killed you, this one is not the one that killed this. Hadiza Ali, whose Boko Haram husband died of a heart attack four years ago, is already seeing positive results after a short time attending the training sessions. Even right now, I've been making bags, and I sold some four bags and six small purses, so this will go a long way. The women hope these small steps will give them a fresh start, taking them away from a life of terror and violence to a life of financial security and belonging. Chika Odua for VOA News in Maiduguri, Nigeria.